I am off to County Down to meet a pioneering couple, Stephen and Claire Golombowski Byrne, who have restored their 1840s home, Lacken Cottage, on remarkably little money, and have found ways to heat it with equal resourcefulness. We didn't have any money, which has made us very inventive. We've a lot of reclaimed mm -hmm. bits and pieces. Okay. Our kitchen is made from the ceiling that came out of another That's room. That's the extension. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's all, um, yeah. we had a very small budget. Yeah. What was your budget? 15 grand. Yeah. People would be very envious. Mm -hmm. In eco-friendly house, there's sort of extremes. Yes. And to a lot of people, you'd be out there. Yeah. We're off-grid. We grow our own fuel as well. We harvest rainwater, we take care of a lot of our own waste on site, that sort of thing. A lot of it's about having smaller bills. If you say to most people, would you like a house that has a 50 pound a year heating bill and no electricity <laughs> bill? If you could reduce your running costs yeah. to next to nothing, wouldn't yeah. you do it? This looks like a Heath Robinson railway engine. You just expect it to sort of move. It's called a rocket mass heater. Rocket because of the sound and mass because it's heating this bench. So that heats this room? And that heats this room, yeah. So does that balance between restoring and the reality of living yeah. in a house like this? Yes, and I think as time's gone on, we've realised, you know, that the, the balance has maybe shifted more in the direction of the practicalities. So when we first came, we wanted to just preserve it as a traditional cottage, and then we realised that there has to be a compromise to make it a usable family home mainly in terms of warmth. We use natural materials, so uh, we've lime and hemp plaster in here. It's simple and it's easy to do. That was the main thing. Well, we could do it ourselves. You can yeah. put it on by hand. And slapping it all on the walls. Every, yeah, <laughs> and great. everyone came and yeah. had a go at it. And, about 10 and or literally just sometimes. lashed it on. Yeah. It's breathable, um, but it does have a, a, a good insulation value. Mm -hmm. You know, over the years, we had more bare stone, and we've it's gradually covered some of it up. <laughs> it's because very cold. Uh, okay. You get a real cold spot. We've got over the idea of having all that bare stone, um, but it just makes it a much more comfortable place to live in. I've come into this room because this is the original wall. It's a granite wall. When you put your hand to it, you can feel the cold coming through. And here you have the lime hemp mortar where the wall has actually been plastered but also insulated because of the hemp in it. When you put your hand on this, it's so much warmer. I think up in Donegal, in the cottage, this will be one of the issues as to how insulation is going to be resolved. For me, I know what I'd like for my creature comforts. What I loved about today is that Steve and Claire have shown us how feasible it is to restore these old cottages. Not only have they saved something that would have been lost forever, they've created a cosy contemporary home. Amazingly, they've done that with little or no debt or running costs, which challenges our whole approach to funding of a home.